Good morning. This is Sarah Satch from Posh Fooch Designs, and this is our live video chat. Oops, <laughs> got a little lipstick on my teeth. Mm. <laughs> Today I've got my coffee, and if when you when you come in and you see the video. Clink your coffee cup. I hope you've got some coffee made today. It's a rainy day yesterday afternoon, and it's still a little overcast today. So I decided, good morning, Audra. So I decided to go ahead and go with my hot coffee. All right. Well, today's video, as you can see behind me, there's Rosie over there. And there's Maximo over there. It's time for their morning nap. You know, they slept all night. They got up. We walked around the yard a little bit. They had their breakfast. It's raining there, too. Spring is rain, I guess. But it's summer now. Yesterday was the first day of summer. And we're starting to get rain. But anyway, my dogs are so funny because they uh, get up. They eat their breakfast. We go out for a little walk. And then they come back in and they think they need to go back to bed. Because they're all worn out because we walked for three minutes. <laughs> So anyway, I'm sitting here in my living, my living room today. I almost fell off my chair. And the reason I'm in this chair is because this is Maximo and Rosie's favorite chair. You can see behind me, Maximo's laying over there. Good morning, Leslie. Hello from Ohio. Hello from Florida. I love it when you put your state in there. As a matter of fact, everybody today, when you try, I still got lipstick on my teeth. Goodness gracious. When you chime in, put your state, because I love to see where everybody's from. But anyway, this is Maximo. Uh, good morning, Bobby. Good morning, Leslie, again. <laughs> but anyway, this is Maximo and Rosie's favorite spot. It's the front of the house. Rosie's over there. Maximo's over there. And this one big window behind me. And they love to sit on the back of this chair and watch. We get deer out here, and we get other people and dogs and trucks and cars, of course going by we're at the we're at like the very end of a circle we're on cottontail lane and it's like a lane and it just kind of goes in a circle so unless people know uh they live back here or they're lost they don't really come back here <laughs> and i love that because it's very quiet but they love to watch for like the mailman or my if we if i have a yarn delivery from ups or something <laughs> Good morning from Germany. That's awesome. You know, I lived in Germany. My husband was stationed at Ramstein for almost four years. We absolutely loved it. We lived in a little town called Valhaven. And, oh, I just loved living there. We had fantastic landlords. And my son was actually born in Germany. He was born at the uh, Launchtool um, Army Base. We were Air Force, but the Air Force didn't have a huge uh, hospital. And Launchtool, uh, good morning, Anne. And Launch Tool is the big hospital that everybody goes to there. And as a matter of fact, they, th that hospital is huge now. I would love to go back to Germany and visit sometime. Well, anyway, today's talk, like I said, everybody be sure and put where you're from. Good morning, Melissa from Iowa. Here's a funny story. I was born in Iowa. <laughs> uh, uh, my mom is originally from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and I was born in a little town called Clinton, Iowa. But after she got married, we moved to Oklahoma. Tulsa, Oklahoma is where I was raised, so... Anyway, back to what we're talking about today. Good morning, Brandy from Texas. Aus oh, wow, you live by there. That's cool. We just loved living in Germany. One of these days, we're going to have to go back. Okay, I keep getting, I keep getting um, off topic. But anyway, <clears throat> today's video, I've got my ice cream shirt on today since yesterday was the first day of summer. And it, I love to wear this shirt when I miss my granddaughter, Callie, because she picked this shirt out for me. She told me I needed an ice cream shirt, so I love this shirt. It's very comfy. I think it's really a night shirt, but I always wear a t-shirt under it anyway. Okay, let's get back to our conversation because I'm getting totally off topic. Maybe I haven't had enough coffee. Does everyone have their coffee today? Be sure and clink in. So anyway, continue to say where you're from. I just love that, hearing where everybody's from. Thank you for saying you love my headband. This is a brand new pattern. I, I did this pattern because, unfortunately, my medications are making my hair thin. And I've been getting sunburnt right on my part. 
And so I've been making some fun headbands to wear. And I love the gray with the bright colors. And this is, this is, I'll tell you about this headband later, but it's going to be a new pattern soon. Yep, Anne's from Parker. Yay, Parker. Hello, Diane. Glad to see you here today. Anyway, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today is how Maximo and Rosie, behind me, Rosie over there, Maximo's the white guy, became my models for Posh Pooch Designs. And I have to tell you, I am without notes today. Usually I have notes and copies and papers, but I decided to wing it today. Let's see how it goes. Well, um, in 2009, in February, around my birthday, um, all the kids were out of the house. My daughter was married. My son was in college. And I... Um, the house was alone. Hi. Hi, Diane. Oh, she said I look fabulous. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm feeling really fabulous today. You know, I have those days that they say some days you're fabulous and some days you feel like a busted can of biscuits. Today's a fabulous day. I'm feeling really good. So anyway, I was looking to get a small dog that we could take with us because my husband and I own a convertible and we love to just jump in the convertible and go for rides. And um, we were living in Oklahoma, in Tulsa, Oklahoma at the time. And I told my sister, um, Gina, I said, I am looking for a little dog. And she was doing some work with some Chihuahua rescues, helping uh, place dogs. And so I told her, I said, I would love to have a little girl, a little, little girl Chihuahua. And so she did some looking around, and she found one at a little rescue. And she said, come on over to my house, and we'll ride out there together. So I drove over there, and oh, we drove over there. And then we got there, she says, oh, by the way, this is a little boy. And I was like, no, I want a little girl, but let's go see anyway. Well, um, we walked up to the door, and the lady who had the rescue opened the door, and out walked little bitty Maximo, this little guy back here. And um, she said he was about a year old, and he looked so scrawny and little. He was really quite filthy, and his toenails needed clipped, and he had a rash around his neck. And I think sometimes when you give him a bath, and then you put the collar right back on, they get a little rash. And he had that also, but he was so cute. Well, Gina picks him up, and she looks at him for a little bit and kind of scratches his ears, and she says, well, what do you think? And she hands him to me, and I pick him up, and he, he probably weighed five pounds, maybe four and a half, five pounds. And he was so little and cute, and I looked in at him, and he just looked up at me and just licked me on the cheek. And I was like, okay, I'll take him. <laughs> we just bonded instantly, and to this day, he is a mama's boy. Well, that was in 2009, so that, and he was about a year old, so that makes him about eight years old. Well, I, I noticed that he was shivering a lot, and this is February, March, and he was so cold all the time. Of course, we like our air conditioner pretty chilly because I don't like to sweat. And so um, I started making him some hats and some sweaters, and, and at that time, I just started selling just the hats and the sweaters, and little dog items, booties, and little things like that, just to my friends. And I had a friend who was working at a little uh, boutique in Broken Arrow. And um, she said, hey, you ought to ask her if you can put some of your stuff in there. So uh, within a year's time, I had all of my item items. I was making cloth bandanas at the time, too. And um, I had them in about four different boutiques. And then I started, and, and then I got them in a couple of dog stores. Well... I had some issue with some of my items being stolen and misplaced and then my displays because I bring in these dogs, uh, stuffed dogs and put the bandanas and sweaters on them so people could see them and those things disappeared. And so, um, and then, and then I decided um, to stop doing that particular portion. But let's go back to when we got Rosie. We had Maximo for just a couple of months and I told my husband, I said, we leave the house and he's home all by himself. And um, we would take him with us a lot of times, but a lot of stores are not friendly to pets. I actually got kicked out of Best Buy because I had him in my shirt. <laughs> and his little head was sticking out, and they said, you have to leave. There's kids in here. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, we were, he was lonely, or we, we thought he was lonely. He probably wasn't. He was probably totally fine. But anyway, so my husband started looking around, and we found, um, we found Rosie. We got her from a guy... We met him at a McDonald's. He said he was a breeder. He probably was one of those bad breeders. Well, we won't talk about that. Anyway, she was so tiny. She was about a pound, about a pound and four ounces, I think, or five ounces, little tiny thing. 
and um, she was so sweet and cute. Well, he had told us that she was going to be a blonde chihuahua. Well, when we got there, she was red. And we had originally thought, well, we'll call her Lily, because Lily is a white flower. And then when my husband saw her, he just fell in love with her. She was so tiny. And well, this was a Best Buy in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And actually, that Best Buy is now closed. <laughs> but, but anyway, don't worry about it. I take him in this one here all the time, so, and he's, both of them. But anyway, um, she was so teeny tiny, and I thought, oh, I don't even know if we're going to get her home. And she just kept throwing up in the car, and we, we stopped a couple times to let her out on the, on the grass along the road. But anyway, she end, we, we had to end up giving her puppy milk, and I, and I think what the issue it was is that a lot of breeders try to keep their chihuahuas tiny because people want the tiny ones. And Rosie was a bigger chihuahua, and that's why she hadn't sold yet, and we got her um, relatively, not cheap, but relatively cheap. And um, I think he was starving her down a little bit. And so when she finally started eating, she started putting on weight and um, started getting healthy. And at this point, I started making things for her as well. Because you can add ruffles and lace and ribbons and all kinds of fun things to little girly uh, sweaters and hats and blankets and booties and all kinds of scarves and things. And so, and that <clears throat> actually in itself is how Posh Pooch Designs was born. My son encouraged me to start a Facebook business page. And my daughter encouraged me to do Etsy. And then we did Artfire, which I'm no longer on Artfire. And, but, um, it has just, just spiraled wonderfully from there. And of course, I don't only do dog items now. It's been about, uh, two years I started incorporating in some, uh, free patterns for, um, people like this headband, you know, things like that, that I wanted to try and add. And I love to do anything that has a paw print or a dog bone on it, but I also love to do stuff for people. And our motto has always been, um, Ha, uh, crochet wear crochet posh pooch designs where crochet has gone to the dogs and i had that motto for the longest time what's the matter buddy you come sit with mamas come here here's maximo he's a mama's boy anyway so i changed the motto to designs for pooches designs for people and designs for fun and I did that because I'm really having a great time designing some other things. I'm still designing dog hats and sweaters and, and poochy things, but I'm also designing hats and, and blankets and ponchos and shawls and all kinds of fun things for people too. Oh, you're starting the sweat headband? Are you doing the cotton one? Because it's really, really, really easy and they're great. As a matter of fact, I think I posted one there today. Maximo is a lover boy. He loved Anne when she came over. He is very particular about the people that he loves. And if Maximo will let you pull him on his lap and love on him, then you're extra special. And he's my baby boy. So anyway, that's the way Posh Pooch Designs gained two, actually I should say, these two, these two pooch models, dog models, became posh pooch designs and i did um a lot of people have asked me if i'm going to re yes peaches and cream excellent choice for cotton uh michelle but um i forgot what i was gonna say <laughs> i'm easily distracted i really am if i see yarn forget it i'm out of here <laughs> um oh what i was going to say is that i really really love designing anything out of any yarn i um I love the crazy, bumpy, crazy yarns. He did, Diane. He let you love on him, didn't he? Yeah, he can tell, Maximo can tell a dog person. But anyway, I love to design uh, things from the yarns that nobody likes. Like those bumpy yarns and hairy yarns and, and yarns with stuff. He's going to go sit down over here. So he's got a toothache today. I think I'm going to have to get him in and get that. He's got a tooth about where I got mine pushed back. He's got a tooth there that's bugging him. So I think we're going to have to get him in and get that taken care of. Hi, Elizabeth. Yay, my daughter showed up. <laughs> well, anyway, like I said, that's the way uh, Posh Pooch Designs was born. And Maximo and Rosie are the star models. 
Now, you may see their pictures all over the internet because I've had some issues with people stealing my photos and claiming them as their own. And it cracks me up because there's my background or there's my house and they've taken that picture and saying it was their own. As a matter of fact, I had a, I had a design. I don't think she's around anymore. But she took the pictures of my dogs and she renamed them. And what's so funny is she renamed Maximo uh, Maxi, uh, Roxy and said, it, and said it was a girl. And not to brag, but <laughs> Maximo is definitely a boy dog. Um, and it's easily seen. <laughs> so I used to get really, really upset. And I mean, I do still contact them if someone steals my patterns or pictures. But I'm, I, I just, I don't have time uh, to scour the whole internet looking for that silly stuff. Oh, yeah, you know what? Spencer would be a perfect model, Anne. I may have some medium-sized things he can model soon. That would be great. <laughs> the thing is, oh, oh, I, oh, the other question I wanted to answer real quick. Um, someone asked me, how did I teach them to model? Well, first of all, my dogs are intelligent and they're, they're, they're like the geniuses of Chihuahua dogs. <laughs> but actually, I learned to teach them to model on an ironing board. In my uh, craft room, yarn room, whatever, when we were still living in Oklahoma, because we first got the dogs when we were in Oklahoma, and then we moved up here. And, um, but what I did is I took an ironing board that we weren't using anymore and I laid a nice thick covering on it. And I set it in the corner of the room and the end of the ironing board was up into the corner. And I taught them to sit on the ironing board. Now I never left them unattended or anything like that. But when I wanted them to move and I, I taught them head up, head down, turn around and things like that in order to get different uh, angle shots. And they would do anything I ask of them as long as they get paid in cookies. And I don't want to say that too loud or they'll start jumping up thinking they need one. <laughs> But they're they're good little pooches. They can uh, they can dance. They can they can roll over. They can circle. They can give you five. And um, so yeah, they're good little dog models. Poor Maximo. He's not feeling too good. Hey Rosie, are you are you sleepy too? Come here. Come here and give mama kisses. Come on. This is my squirrely girl. She will give lots of kisses. Mm -hmm. Rosie thinks she's a person. She loves all people and does not like any dogs <laughs> except Maximo. And of course, they're inseparable. If I take him to the vet, I pretty much have to take them both or the other one sits and cries the whole time waiting for him. <clears throat> so anyway, that's how Maximo and Rosie became my dog models. Now... <clears throat> Let me show you what's going on this week with Posh Pooch Designs. And someone said they liked my headband. And this is a pattern I was working on. I've been working on for a while. That was the test. And, I, and this is the result. This is just a chevron headband in colors. And they're nice and stretchy. And I learned uh, that you have to subtract some or the headband's going to be way too big and fall off because they're very stretchy. But they're a lot of fun to make. And this is one I'm going to do probably next Monday. Um, I try to do a new pattern or video on Monday, um, but I don't always get the new ones out. Aww. Yes. Um, did anybody take a moment and do our crochet along? I didn't bring that with me for the headband. I got some pictures in, but I haven't gotten any this week, so hopefully we'll get some more in for the Blossom headband. It's a really pretty little headband. So uh, make sure if you've got some pictures, you send those to me or, or just add them on Ravelry in the projects. Okay, the other thing we're going to, that we did this week is I made a video yesterday for this little baby washcloth. And see how lacy that is? It is a rectangle. Everyone keeps saying it's shaped like a rectangle. It is a rectangle. And that's because I was asked specifically to, to do the video for this because it goes with this. This is our bunny washcloth, and I made a video on how to roll a washcloth into a bunny, but um, there is a pattern on there, and, they, and I was specifically asked by a sweet lady if I would do a video on the washcloth. So on the blog, you're, you'll see two videos, <clears throat> one for the washcloth 
and one for the bunny. Oh, Michelle made it this morning. Hey, add a picture. Anytime you make any of my patterns, feel free to add a picture on my Facebook page. And also go to Ravelry and add it in your projects. I love to see things that people make from my patterns. Okay, the other thing that, that's going to happen this week is this. I made this hat. It's called Uncle Sam's Hat a few years ago. And basically, it's a prop hat. And you can wear it yourself. <laughs> You can put it on your pooch, you can put it on your baby, or you can use it for decoration for your 4th of July or anytime you have a patriotic um, celebration. And I'm, I'm going to be doing this video probably tomorrow or the next day. I try not to say specifically which day because you never know what's going to happen. And if you say you're going to do it that day and something happens, then people are like, well, you said you were going to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I thought it would be fun to stick it on my ponytail, but, you know, what do you think? <laughs> Okay, the last video I have planned for this week, hopefully this week, maybe next week, is I did the uh, bucket hat for ladies, the summer bucket hat video, and I did it in two steps, and I don't really like that it's in two steps, but I felt like it needed to be that way. And then I did the Opos bucket hat, which is a little bit wider on the top for men with bigger heads, but either pattern can be made for women or men. It's just a, a choice of colors and what you want to do. My husband loves the bucket hat for Opa because... It's made out of cotton. He can pop it on when he's out mowing the lawn or working in the yard. He can sweat. The cotton absorbs the sweat. And then he brings it back in. I throw it in the wash machine and with our, our towels or whatever we're doing that, at that time. But I just set it on the dryer, and he can pick it up and put it back on. So cotton is excellent for a summer hat. And this is the children's. I call this the Zach hat. And it's, it's kind of a combination between the other two hats, only smaller. And I call it the Zach hat because I have three grandchildren. I have Zoe, Aiden, and Callie, Z-A-C, Zach hat. <clears throat> this one's actually Zoe's. She doesn't like it because this week her favorite color is purple. <laughs> so anyway, that's what's happening this week at Posh Pooch Designs. I hope that filled you in. I keep getting lipstick on my teeth. I'm going to change lipsticks. <laughs> anyway, that's what's happening this week at Posh Pooch Designs. Maximu and Rosie's number one dog models, and all the fun videos and patterns we have coming up. I'm trying really hard to, um, because I'm what I'm doing with my YouTube channel is, listen, <laughs> I want all of you to go over to my YouTube channel, and I want you to like all of my videos, because the more you like them, the higher up they get, and more people will see them. Now, I know some of my first videos aren't that wonderful, some of them were blurry because I was doing some loading wrong, and we're learning as we go. But unfortunately on YouTube, they don't give you a learning curve. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm trying to do is try to do something that you can use with your dog and something you, you can use every, every week. And, I, it, and I'm not, sometimes there'll be one, sometimes two videos. And depending on what's going on, just like the washcloth thing, I wasn't really planning on doing that one. But she asked me to, and I thought, well, it's simple enough, and, and it's a, a nice quick video. So anyway... That's what's going on. <laughs> uh, it was so good to see all of you here, and I'm so glad you stopped in for our live video chat. If you came at the end, you, of course, it will be on uh, YouTube, and it will also be on our Facebook page for you to um, see. I'm also, I also wrote a blog about Maximo and Rosie, and um, I added a bunch of fun pictures of them that you can go and look at, and I'll, I'll load that blog up because I want to add this video to it when we're all done, and that'll give you some fun pictures to see. There's some really cute ones of Rosie when she was a baby. So Maximo was pretty much grown because he was almost a year, but Rosie was teeny tiny little thing. So anyway, I'm so glad you came to have coffee with me this morning. And remember, stay creative. Never let your creative juices die. And go like my videos on YouTube. Thank you again. I'm so glad to meet with you today. Have a wonderful summer day. <laughs>